Your name is Brianna. We've yep. established that. Okay. Um, tell us about your church background. So I really didn't really have one. Um, I kind of went to church for holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, but didn't really go until a couple years ago. Okay. What? Um, so you were born here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, it's on. You just got to talk into it more. <laughs> Cheap microphones. Okay. When did you first hear about Madison Church and who invited you? I heard about it about three years ago from um, a coworker, Matt Osborne, from at, that I worked with at High V. He invited me. Okay. And what did you think about everything when Matt first invited you? Candidly, tell us. What did you think? Was he a weirdo or what? What was it? So talking to him before that, before him inviting me to church, he just talked about just random things. And then when he invited me, I'm like, hmm, he's talking about like really interesting. So it got me intrigued. So it got me to like, let me go and figure out what's, what's all this about. Yeah. So the way he was talking about it, just kind of, you were interested. Yeah. It sounded interesting. Okay. Um, what was it like your first Sunday or just right at the beginning of coming to Madison church? What was it? Yeah. What was it like? It was more like, more well, a lot more welcoming, more friendly faces, more smiling, more, a lot more talking, talkative to more people, just more friendly. Now, when you mean more friendly, you mean more friendly compared to other churches or compared to us now? <laughs> I've got to ask. <laughs> um, more friendly than other churches. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to clarify for everybody. I was like, wait a second. What's kept you coming back? The people, friendly, the friendliness environment. Um, I feel I feel like home here. Yeah, spiritual family. Okay, can you tell us just a couple examples of how you've seen growth in your own life since coming here? Uh, I've seen a lot. Me knowing that I've prayed a lot more than I did before, and then um, also more friend friendships turns into like more like a family than did before. Yeah, a lot of closeness and yeah, friends. Yeah. yeah. We've gotten to celebrate a lot with your family and, and some difficult times over the past couple of years, too, and, yeah. and to just be able to have that community around you. Uh, what would you say to someone, you've got all these people in here, they're thinking, maybe maybe I should invite so-and-so, a neighbor, family. What would you say to them, but they're hesitating right now? Um, I would say pray to God to see who needs that invitation and to give you the strength and then just do it. Um, Why? Because you can't, doesn't really hurt to just to invite somebody. They might say no, but then you can't say that you didn't try. Maybe they didn't need that invitation just that time. It could be somebody else that needed that, but you didn't find the right person. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Brianna. You're welcome.